morning friends it's Tracy and Maze and Boris from Nova Scotia Living. Um, Maze has an old hoodie on. I think it was Karis. I'm not sure but uh, East Coast lifestyle stuff is boys and girls stuff so whatever. Anyways it is Wednesday morning hump day and uh, needle day. what? Needle day. needle day. Yeah Maze gets a needle tonight. When he gets home Anyways, we just fed our furry and feathered friends, and we're just waiting for the bus. And yeah, there's flyers there in our driveway. All right, have a good day at school, bud. I love you so much. Good night. Pat. Good night. Have a good sleep. Oh, Randall's hooting and hollering. <laughs> yeah. feel a bit blue when I think of there'll be a time when I'm not doing this anymore but that's okay and it's life hey yeah I don't know anyways I'm outside now with uh Mally's with me I'm waiting for mm -hmm. Misha and Maziah to come out I was upstairs editing some so that's good I'll go back in and finish that up and yeah here comes the bus. Oh. Papa used to ride a bicycle sometimes. He did. Have a good day. I love ya. Have a good day, children. Love ya. There they go. There they go, Boris. I think my husband's leaving for the day. So it's just going to be me and my best bud. Oh, Misha and Messiah waving. Oh, I still got him. All right, guys. Um, I was just talking with my husband. He was just sitting here having his coffee, but he's going to take off soon. Here's a package of medium ground beef. It was due yesterday, but it's still good. I'm not worried about it. Uh, 1470. Uh, it was 14.97 a kg, but my husband had a rain check, so it was 8.80 a kg. I think I'm going to make sweet and sour meatballs, rice, and egg rolls. So I'm going to get this out in a bowl and season it up. All right, I don't have any more of my good gloves. I have these crappy gloves, but I'm going to use them. Oh, the hamburger. I'm going to put some paprika in it, salt and pepper, some onion powder, some dehydrated onion. And I don't know if I should put a couple eggs in there. I might, just to help it bind together. It's just one pack and it's medium gram, so they're going to shrink. They're not going to be great big meatballs. But my husband's just getting his computers ready to take off on me. All right, these are those five eggs that were in that flat from the other day. I'm just going to put two. That one looks extra pointy. Some of them look pointy. I don't know why. All right, I got a little cookie sheet and this because, yeah, I just don't want it sitting in a puddle of grease. Um, two eggs. And all those spices I mentioned. I'm going to get my hands in there and mix it all up. Okay. There. I do have a little tiny scoop, but the little thing in it that sweeps it doesn't work. So I do have a teaspoon here. I just want to try to make them all the same size. And I should be able to fit it all on this little one. I got a... The kids were making little tiny cootie catchers. Misha made, or Mally made this little itsy bitsy one as big as a chocolate chip or even smaller. <laughs> With these post-its. All right. There's 20 meatballs. There's five for each of them. I can get this in that dishwasher over there. And I have the oven preheating to three, three, 350. They'll go, I'll flip them over at about 15 minutes as long as they're not falling apart. And this part of the, the leg of the journey will be done. 
All right, that's about 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to roll them over without breaking them apart and putting them back in for about another 10 minutes. All right, so I rolled them over. You can see the little lines because they were sitting on this rack, but I don't care. They're gonna be covered in sauce anyways. Oh, okay, I never seen that one. No, it's... Ooh, all right, guys, it is 1210. I have been super busy. I talked to my mother-in-law on the phone. I talked to Marquise for an hour on the phone. I talked to my sister-in-law on the phone for about an hour. She's coming out here this, well, within the half hour or whatever. The meatballs are done. I edited a video. I just wiped my kitchen table off. I'm gonna get the dishwasher going. What else? I don't know. Anyways, here's the rice. Uh, Botsmati rice, two cups of rice, three cups of water, bring it to a boil, throw a blob of butter in it, any spices you want. Take it off the heat, put a lid on it, and leave it for 20 minutes, it's done. I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna double it. The meatballs are still right there. Um, and I gotta do a sauce. And I'm gonna get the chicken sandwich stuff out so she can have her lunch when she gets here. I don't know. I need to make a thumbnail for my video. It's when we first started decorating for Halloween. And Boris is out there. I'm drinking a ton of water, so I have to go pee a million times today. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it's just one of those days. I have Maze's uh, medication. I have to give him a needle today. I think I told you. Maybe not. Do Pixin. It's just new in Canada for children. It's been in Canada for about five years. It's been in the States for years. But uh, anyways, he gets his needle today. But I do have the freezing patch for his leg when he gets home. I'm setting this out now. So it de not that it was frozen, but it's been in the fridge. I just wanted to make it room temperature kind of thing. They say you should do that. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> I've just been on the horn all day. As soon as I hung up the phone with my mother-in-law, that's when Marquise called. And before my mother-in-law called, my sister-in-law called. And then she messaged me while I was talking to Marquise to say she might pop out here because she's going to have her uh, dog with her, Moxie, which is exciting. It's actually Boris's half-sister. I'm not going to film here. She doesn't like to be on camera, but they're going to run around here, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, she said we should probably meet outside first just so they can have their peas. I'm like, yeah, probably because they'll be excited and do excited dogs often pee, you know, excited peas. Well, at least Boris does. And um, yeah, I'll do that rice after, like as soon as Marquise, uh, Marquise, <laughs> Maze gets home, I'll do the rice and the egg rolls. Like I won't do them now, but I have the rice and pot out now. So I'll know what to do when I get in the house after when he gets home, which, you know, takes 20 minutes, half hour, something like that. So, mm, yeah, like the table and the floor is all swept. That's about it. All right, we're outside now. Um, I put the rice in the pot without the water and stuff. I rinsed it off and um, yeah, we're just going to wait for my sister-in-law now. I want to clear some of this. We got all the extra wood that was out here. We're supposed to be getting our wood delivery today. I can't move this wood splitter. My husband's going to do that because look at this tie. I am not even going to try. This wood snow blower, if I can, I don't know if I can, we'll go over on the other side of the shop because when the big wood truck comes, he'll back up here and drop all the wood here so we can throw it down in the basement. So, see if I can move this mother. Just out here working and a little tank comes over. I brought over that old box. He's such a cutie patootie. I would want to scoop him up and put him in my pocket, but. He's fine, he's fine, Boris. All right, I moved that. I'm leaving that wheelbarrow because we can easily move that. Can't do the wood splitter. I'm not messing with that mother. 
those those things I don't know what my husband wants to do with it so I'm not I leaned up the snow shovel his golf clubs go in the shop I don't know what he's doing with that pipe and all this table this stuff needs to go in the shop so I'll let my husband do all that but that's about all I can do because he needs to either fix that wheel or bring it down and get it fixed but to get it on back of the truck I don't know what he's gonna do I don't know we got ramps but I I'm not even gonna try to pull that because I'll just pull my back out is what I'm gonna do so I'll sit out here I put my water here in the shade so it wouldn't get hot but see it's the time of day the shades not over here Usually by the time when the kids get home, the shade's partially over here. But my sister-in-law should be here soon. So I think I'm just going to sit down. Tank came over again. Boris was going bananas. But scared Bo uh, Tank back over the road. I just hate that. It scares me because I, I feel so awful if he got struck by a car. You know what I mean? Poor little baby boy. He's usually good and stays in his yard, but I don't know. I don't know, but I'm glad my sister-in-law will come with Moxie. They can play outside for a minute just to have their peace, and then we'll go in the house and they can go buck wild because nobody's here. My husband's not here. The kids aren't here. Nobody's going to get knocked over. I went around and picked up any straggle things that um, her dog tends to eat little things. Um, so you got to almost like house proof, like a toddler. Um, I picked up any little things that I thought could fit in a dog's mouth that they could swallow. And yeah, luckily Boris doesn't do that, but he will eat any kind of food that there is out there. He's a food motivated dog for sure. Um, it was so nice talking to Marquise. I hadn't talked to him week and a half or something he just works so so much and where he works there's no cell reception um but baby's doing good i forget if i said when he comes i'll make sure i have a box of diapers for you uh just so you don't have to pack that when you come i said he'll probably be in a size three or four he's like no he's already in a size five he's a big baby may's um marquise was a baby big baby he was my biggest baby he was 10 pounds 13 ounces and uh, anyways, so the little Maverick must be a big old chunker, which is awesome. He's a, he's a big boy. Yeah, anyways, so I can't wait. I cannot friggin' wait. And I'm so excited that Dad will get a chance to meet Maverick because that's a mom moment in time not everybody gets to meet. His great-grandfather, which will be awesome. Anyways, this sun is beating down on me I can tell you um, I have a smidge of a headache I did take a haul and all before I came out and yeah the kids have a dance tomorrow uh, Mally doesn't want to go Maziah doesn't want to go but she wants to go so she can be with her friends and one of her friends can't get a ride so they're gonna come here after school so they can go to the dance and then come back here and stay overnight and then go to school the next day oh it drives me nuts that they have school dances on Thursdays now. When I was a kid, they had it on Friday. And I kind of, I see both sides. They probably have it on a Thursday instead of a Friday. So kids don't get up to no good, if you know what I'm saying. Because that's what we did in high school. There's a school dance. You meet a little bit earlier and get up to no good. If you know, you know. But they do it on Thursday. I'm assuming that's why. Like, who wants to go to a dance and go to school the next day? You know? But that's what they do now. And that's good. I get it. But I'm just like... The kids these days don't have the fun or the hijinks that we had when we were kids. Um, they don't do the things that we did when we were kids. But <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> the 90s were something else, I guess. Just something else. Anyways, I got my water. Um, 
yeah, I don't know what time my husband will be home, but it's a big day. I don't really talk about it on here, but it's a huge day if it's the day that we're, it's supposed to be. I feel like popping a cork of champagne, I'm telling you. But I'm just being, I don't feel like I'm being a lazy bones. I, I don't think I've done any laundry today. I could probably do laundry, but there's a the lady going over to, uh, the house there. Oh, she didn't see me. Anyways, uh, yeah. Boris is in the shade, though. I'm just not, and I'm too dang lazy to drag my chair over to there. But hurry up. Oh, I just seen a butterfly over by the basketball net. Mom! I know Mom's around me all the time. I know she's around me all the time. I talk to her every day, every morning. And Violet. I always say good morning to Violet. And every time I step out the door, oh, there she Are you coming over to me? There's two of them. Oh, I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah, they're all around us. I just wish I could, you know, give them a high five and big old hug and... That's all right. Our time here is just temporary anyways, and we'll all be together. It's fine. I just need to remind myself that. Appreciate the day. Appreciate the little times that we have here because it's not that long. Look. There's Boris's half sister. Uh, my sister in law just went out to the car for a second. But just so you can see her. Well, the bus is here. How was school? I missed ya! There's Moxie! Alright, Maze is home. My sister-in-law and Maze are still outside. I brought Boris in. Maze is out there visiting with Moxie for a minute just because they're coming in in just a sec. I'm getting the rice going. I have a pot here. I don't have any brown sugar, so I'm going to use some of this, some ketchup, some white vinegar. I have this. I'll probably use some other... I have some chicken rib sauce. I'm just going to put a, some toy sauce, a mixture, so it's sweet and sour tasting. And I'll throw the meatballs in. All right, I just called the pharmacy, too, because I'll have some money this weekend. I want to call ahead of time to get all our prescriptions refilled. Some of them are compound, so they take a few days to get. I said, I said I could pick up whatever's ready tomorrow, and the rest I'll pick up next week, which is fine. I don't want any plum sauce for the egg rolls. I do have cherry sauce. And I have sweet chili, which the kids like too, so. That and sweet and sour meatballs. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Usually it's him. Anyways, the big kids aren't home yet, but the food will be ready. I'm going to flip those egg rolls over when the alarm goes off and put them in for another 10. To keep on moving. But I'm going to break up my style. There's my meatballs. I just took these out of the oven. They're done. Um, the big kids aren't home yet, but I'm going to leave it out. It's still hot, and the rice, I haven't fluffed it yet. All right, my sister in law and Moxie and Maze are going outside to greet the big kids when they get off the bus. I'm staying in here with the food, um, just so Boris doesn't go bonkers when the kids get home and Moxie and everything. They should be here in a few minutes. Whew. Still have kind of a headache a little bit but it's been nice Boris been playing around with his sister cousin and having a nice yarn with my sister-in-law and yeah it's been a good time so food's all ready for when the kids get here Boris is getting tuckered out I'm gonna go down and help out a family member on Monday so he'll go to Moxie's house for the time being like that morning for a couple hours so we'll get back on track doing the things that we were doing earlier this summer before my foot operation thing and all that stuff. All right, guys, I didn't get a picture of the kids' bowls and plates. They each got five meatballs over a bed of rice and some egg rolls, and that was that. Oh, my sister-in-law and Moxie just left. Um, I went up in the attic because Misha was up there. There was a couple hornets, so I took care of those. And now I'm sitting down. I friggin' banged my ankle. It's friggin' starting to swell up. Ridiculous. 
it's not one thing, it's another. All right, look what Misha just came out with. She made funnel cakes. That looks amazing, Misha. I've got to get a picture. Look at that. I mean, it might break apart. What are you it. looking at, Boris? She's watching me. She's going to help me. <laughs> Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Another Day. I think this is video four I've edited today. Misha and May's are playing. She just washed his hair. Like, he, they're doing something. She wants to do his hair. But, um, yeah, that funnel cake that Misha made, that was the first time she ever made them. Mally's made them before. But Misha made them this time. 100% by herself. Made the dough or whatever. I've never even made them. Uh, fry them in oil. Um, she was like, oftentimes they're coated with, like, cinnamon sugar kind of stuff. But... Um, she just used icing sugar and it was amazing. Amazing. And she's 12. Newly 12 in August. Um, so, you know, props to her, really. And the supper was just something simple, easy. Uh, yeah, I didn't get a picture of that, but there was just enough meatballs for every, everybody to have five. There was some rice left over and we used the next day, so everything turned out fine. Fine. Yeah. Anyways... Boris is right down there on the floor, just behind me. But I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.